Now that in this chapter you have learned about coal and petroleum, let's move on to the third big fossil fuel that is natural gas. And trust me, this is one super useful fuel. So exactly what is natural gas? Well, it's a fossil fuel that powers our homes. You probably have used it without even realizing whether it is for cooking, uh, heating or even electricity. It's actually one of the most commonly used fossil fuel out there after coal and petroleum. Now, why is natural gas so popular? Well, it can be stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas. Ever seen those uh, CNG refilling stations? We well, might have noticed these cars that run on CNG with those uh, special cylinders in the rear. Yeah, that's natural gas, this compressed natural gas at work there. Another big advantage is that it is very easy to transport. Unlike petrol or coal, which requires tankers or heavy transport, natural gas can flow through pipelines straight from refinery to wherever it's needed. Very convenient, right? It is. And here is the best part. It, it burns way cleaner than coal or petrol. That means less pollution, which is always an advantage for the environment, right? So not only it is useful, but it's also cleaner. A greener choice, not to completely green, but yeah, better choice. Well, how was natural gas formed? If you remember, it actually formed along with petroleum, right? Think about it. Millions and millions of years ago, we are talking about roughly around 300 millions ago, the dead remains of aquatic animals and plants got buried under sand and clay. Then, because there was no air plus immense heat, from under the earth and pressure inside the earth, these remains slowly transformed into, yes, you guessed it, natural gas and petroleum. And how do we get this? Well, it's drilled out and transported through pipeline so we can actually use it in our homes, vehicles and industries. India has a huge reserve of natural gas. It's been found in places like Tripura, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and also the Krishna Godavari Delta. That's cool, right? But here is the thing, it won't last forever. Just like coal and petroleum, natural gas is a fossil fuel and fossil fuels won't last forever. And we are using it way faster than it can be replaced. That's a bit of a problem. So what does that mean for us? Well, we need to be really careful and smart about how we use fossil fuel. Wasting it is not an option. Plus, we should be we should start looking at alternative fuel sources now rather than waiting until it's too late. If we don't, we might end up way too dependent on the fossil fuels like coal, petroleum and natural gas and let us, to be honest, that's not going to be great for the future of humankind. So coal, petroleum and natural gas took millions of years to form but at the rate at which we are using them, they might run out in just a few hundred years, right? Now that is a big problem. Not only are these fossil fuels exhaustible resources, but there is also a major another issue, the pollution they cause. Burning them releases harmful gases into air, leading to serious problems like air pollution and global warming. We are talking about gases like methane, uh, nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide and even ozone gas, all of which are harmful for humans and the environment. That's exactly why we need to be smart about using these fuels. We have to find ways to save them and more importantly, maybe start looking for alternate fuel sources. The good news is we can slow down fuel consumption and save fuel with just a few simple habits. There is this Petroleum Conservation Research Association. It's basically an organization formed by the Ministry of Petroleum to help regulate fossil fuel use. And they've got some great tips for saving petrol and diesel. Here are some of them. So drive at a moderate speed. Speeding burns more fuel. Turn off the engine at, at red lights to avoid wasting petrol. Keep your tires inflated properly because under inflated tires increases fuel use. And regular vehicle maintenance keeps the engine run more efficiently. These small actions might not seem like a big deal but trust me they add up. Right? So what can you do? Well next time you are in a car just remind the driver to follow these steps. The more fuel we save today the longer it will last for the future.